Alright, hi everybody. Mike here. Uh, it's just April 5th, 2015, uh, here in Milwaukee, Oregon, um, just south of Portland. I wanted to do a little video. I've been really into these compressors here in the last uh, week or two, researching these things. Recently discovered the uh, York 210 AC compressor that was used in uh, both domestic and import cars from 1958 till about 1991. Uh, these things are kind of neat. Uh, it's, a, it's a dual piston. Uh, it says here, so you can get it in there, York Automotive uh, F210R. It's flanged style fitting. Automotive air conditioning compressor. Um, 210, uh, two piston, 10 cubic inch. It's about 10.3, 169 cc's, I believe. Uh, R, so uh, right hand suction. Uh, these things, uh, unlike more modern axial compressors that you you're used to seeing that I'm used to seeing uh, they the modern ones circulate oil around the system um, and that's really only used to lubricate the internal mechanism of the compressor uh, this thing on the other hand is uh, just like any other like air compressor you, you would imagine or even a, a reciprocating um, a conventional ref refrigeration compressor it has oil here in the bottom uh, and it uses a, a splash lubrication to, uh, to to lubricate the crank, and uh, I, I do believe there is a small hole in the uh, suction reservoir that I'll show you, um, which through a pressure differential I think uh, oils the the, uh, the crank bearing here in the front. I don't know if those t terms are correct, but you know anyway. Um, so the reason I'm interested in it uh, is I want to use it for a refrigeration compressor. Um, I've been looking for an op a cheap open drive, uh, that, you know that is you know belt driven compressor for for some time now. Um, recently, I only mentioned this for a few minutes. I wanted to just experiment with just a regular air compressor to see if it was possible to pump refrigerant with it. Now I figured it might leak a little bit. Uh, I picked this thing up here. It's a little Schultz uh, single piston compressor. Uh, I think it might be made in. Uh, in Georgia, but I, I could be wrong. Uh, it's an old company. Um, anyway, I put a little pressure to the head of it uh, just with some barbecue propane and uh, immediately started to leak because the crankcase is vented to atmosphere. Um, I don't really see any good way around it. Um, so anyway, it's probably a good little compressor, but uh, it's definitely not going to work for refri refrigeration. So I want something open drive um, that I can run variable speed to. Now, there are some variable speed refrigeration compressors out there, scroll compressors and stuff, but um, I'm not going to get into the nitty and gritty of it, but um, uh, there's a lot of things I'd like to experiment with in, in terms of refrigeration compressors, and uh, really one of them is I've always wanted to build a pedal-powered pedal ice machine or, or similar heat pump um, just to see what a human being could do uh, in terms of... of direct action mechanical refrigeration. Um, so I'm going with this York compressor. I picked these, I have two of them here. They're a little bit different style. Um, picked these up at the local pick and pull um, junkyard for 50, like 52, 53 bucks or something like that. Went in and pulled them out. Now this one is the first one I pulled out. These are really easy to find. Uh, this came out of an 83 Volvo. Um, there's another one there. I know there's probably three or four in the area that I could find easily. Now I did compile a list of cars, what years, what makes and models uh, had these. Now this list I have here is just for Rotolock uh, style fittings, which is on the top of this one here. It's a threaded fitting. Uh, they're very common in refrigeration applications. I want, I wanted the Rotolock because um, there's a service valve available uh, that can thread on this, and that allows me to to uh, backseat a valve on it um, to uh, uh, get access with a um, quarter inch flare uh, to a set of gauges here um, and it also allows me to to segregate the compressor from the rest of the system because the system I want to design and build um, will allow me to to valve off various components for for service and alterations and stuff um, but the problem with the Rotolock style is these are definitely less common. The, the cars that I found that had these, there's a few Broncos in the 60s, uh, a lot of VWs, if they even had air conditioning, uh, Lincoln Jeep, Jaguar, Mercedes, Mercury, VW, Ford, Audi, AMC. Uh, I think the latest year was like 1988, 
and the first year was like 1960 or something. It had these rotowalk styles. But in all the yards that I searched, uh, I only found this one, which came out of a uh, 1986 Volkswagen Quantum. And uh, I never heard of the damn thing. Maybe you never have either. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to get it or not because it didn't seem like it had any compression when I pulled it out. But I decided to get it anyway to play around with it and because I wanted the head. Um, in running it here with this motor, which is a uh, uh, two and a quarter horsepower DC uh, treadmill motor, <clears throat> so I can run it at variable speed. I adapted a uh, uh, five eighth inch bore uh, single single belt pulley to it. Um, it seems to work just fine, and uh, I'll try to run it here. See if I can prop the uh, camera up, but um, but there's definitely compression on it. Um, but it doesn't seem to be as good as this flange style. Um, if anybody is interested in a good good resource, uh, there, I think there's a company called Polar Bear Inc. out of Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Florida. They have a website, has a uh, big library of uh, automobiles, and it discusses or it, it'll tell you what kind of uh, compressor was on it. York, Tecumseh, Sandin, uh, what side the suction's on, what style the fittings are on it. Uh, it's a great resource if you're planning on going to the junkyard and trying to find one of these things. Um, like I said, there's a lot more of these things. 83 Volvo. Um, seems about every 83 Volvo I, I, I stumble across has one of these things. Um, I think I even saw it in another vehicle. I can't remember what it was. But uh, if this works out really well, I'm probably going to end up getting more of these things. It's freaking awesome. People use these for air compressors, um, and I'm sure it worked great. Uh, 10 cubic inch. I think somebody said like at 3,000 RPM it'll put out like 9 cubic feet per minute. So at like 6,000 RPM, you know, you're close to 20 cubic feet per minute. They're, they're pretty beefy. Um, and if you want uh, onboard air for like off-roading, refilling your tires, or, um, or running power tools, I mean, 18, 18 CFM is plenty to run some power tools. Um, probably want to have an onboard tank or something. But hey, I'm not interested in air. I'm interested in, in uh, refrigerant. So um, there's also, uh, if you do a search for... Um, uh, your compressor service manual. Uh, there is an extensive service manual manual available as a PDF online. Um, describes all the part numbers, operation, maintenance, uh, mounting it. You can mount it at 90 degrees um, from this this position as long as you put the uh, discharge on the, the downside. You can mount it at a 45. Um, they're really beefy. I hear really good things about them. They're built tough. Um, it's got a clutch. Uh, this one's two groove, this one's single groove pulley. Um, for my purposes, I really only need the single, I think, but uh, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, the clutch works, this one's actually hooked up to 12 volt. Works just fine. Um, first thing I did whenever I got this thing home is I did tear it apart, um, just out of curiosity. So, take this off here. There are some pictures available online if you're interested and uh, taking, a, taking a gander at it. Like I said, it's two piston, they're 180 degrees out of phase. Um, this would be the uh, discharge side, and this would be the suction side. It actually uh, it draws vapor down into this this uh, like sump, and uh, these small holes here for the suction. Uh, get this off. There's two pins that keep this aligned properly. And you can see Oop, it just dropped one of the pins. And then you see the sumps there. For any oil that gets returned, there's a small hole down there. If you see that, that uh, from what I understand, that actually feeds the bearing from the front. So the construction of these is uh, is essentially the same internal-wise. Everything except the head. Now the suction is and discharge are reversed on this one, so that small hole you see is actually on the other side on this one. Uh, what's cool about these is you can still get uh, rebuild kits for them, you get gaskets for them, uh, seals, bearings, uh, pretty pretty awesome. Uh, you can find them on eBay, rebuilt, I think they're 144, uh, they come with a clutch and a bottle of oil. Um, so, you know, if you're looking for something that's going to give you less trouble or if you don't want to get into rebuilding one or something. Uh, otherwise, you can go to Junkyard and you you know you might get lucky and, and it works just great. I, th I think this one's going to work just fine. Um, let me go ahead and see if I can do this without hurting myself.
Here, run. Oh, there it goes. A little delay on that. Engage the clutch. A little load on there. Definitely a... Uh, So it works. Um, said, uh, like I said before, when I just uh, actually run it by hand, it doesn't seem to have great uh, great suction. So I don't know if it's it's leaking somewhere, um, and I don't even know if I'm going to keep it. I, I have 30 days to return it. Um, I might just get store credit and get a hold of another one of these with the flange because they're so much easier to find. Um, this one seems to to work great. It has it has uh, seems to have really good compression. Um, now, as far as adapting this, uh, I got this Rotolock thing, I said, um, oop, I lost the seal there on that one. Like I said, I got this Rotolock because I wanted the service valves. I did find online, uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts has, um, a flanged service valve, bolt-on backseating service valve. Uh, it's like 42 bucks a piece. Uh, they have to order them. They come from, like, Arizona or Phoenix or something. Um... Rather than going that route, I kept searching, and uh, there's some tractor supply websites. If anybody's interested in that resource, too, I could probably um, post a link um, to get ad adapter fittings for these. Um, if you're just looking for it for an air compressor, um, there's, uh, I think, onboardair.com uh, or something. To do a little searching. It should be easy enough to find. You can get adapter fittings like a flange style to, um, um, I think, half-inch pipe thread, male pipe thread. Um, which you know is easy enough to uh, to adapt it. I've seen people actually even drill the inside of these fittings out and tap them um, for you know whatever thread is. I'm not sure. I'm not interested. But um, yeah, anyway, this uh, tractor supply. Um, I think for 75 bucks, I got instead of just a flange to the service or a flange bolt-on service valve, it converts flange to the rotor lock style, and then I bought. Two roto lock um, to half inch flare backseating service valves, and uh, so it's still cheaper than just buying from O'Reilly Auto Parts, um, and it also gives me the option to uh, to throw a roto lock on this style if I come across it or something. Um, but uh, I think I want to stick to the flange style just because they're so much more common, so much easier to find, um, and I'm probably going to redo my list to uh, to have a little more. Uh, extensive list uh, that includes the flange style and not just just the roto locks. Um, as far as which side the suction discharge goes, like I said before, you can look at the, the plaque there um, and it'll tell you this is right for suction, uh, L left for for um, for left left suction. Um, and if you're not sure, right there, discharge, suction. Easy enough. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty excited with these things so far. I'm looking to have some fun. So as soon as my fittings come in, uh, I want to do some uh, preliminary tests to uh, throw a little bit of propane through her and uh, see how she goes. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll do some more videos here um, as I uh, get some more information regarding these things. Um, if you, uh, you guys have any questions or something or um, something I didn't go over, uh, shoot me a comment or something, and uh, I'll see if I can't help you or, or, or send you towards somebody that uh, you know knows a little more than I do. So, hey, thanks a lot. Bye.